हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम टू द न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ रेकॉन सिविल एकेड इन द प्रीवियस एपिसोड आई सॉल्व अप टू द क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी टू ऑफ बेसिक्स ऑफ सॉइल एंड क्लासिफिकेशन लेवल टू इन दिस एपिसोड आई विल मूव अहेड फ्रॉम क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री इफ यू वॉन्ट द पी डी एफ ऑफ द होल एपिसोड देन जस्ट राइट इन द कमेंट सेक्शन एंड वी विल सेंड यू द पी डी एफ टू योर ई मेल तो डू राइट योर ई मेल इन द कमेंट सेक्शन सो लेट एस स्टार्ट नाउ क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्टी थ्री सो अ वेल ग्रेडेड सेंड शुड हैव यूनिफॉर्म कोफिशियंट ग्रेटर देन सिक्स सो सी यू ग्रेटर देन सिक्स यस दिस इज करेक्ट ऑप्शन कोफिशियंट ऑफ कर्वेचर बिटवीन वन एंड थ्री सो सी सी लाइ बिटवीन वन एंड थ्री दिस इज ऑल्सो राइट सो वन एंड टू बोथ आर राइट इफेक्टिव साइज ग्रेटर देन वन मिलीमीटर नो दिस इज नॉट ए क्राइटेरिया देर इज नथिंग लाइक दिस दैट द इफेक्टिव साइज शुड बी ग्रेटर देन एनी नंबर सो ओनली क्राइटेरिया इज दीज टू देन दीज टू आर सेटिस्फाइड सो दिस इज ए वेल ग्रेडेड सेंड सो वॉट इज द ऑप्शन वन एंड टू नाउ आई वॉन्ट टू लिटल बीट डिस्कस मोर ऑन दिस इफ ही हैज आस्ड फॉर द ग्रेवल देन देर इज ओनली वन चेंज डेट सी यू बिकम्स ग्रेटर देन फोर डेट इज फॉर ग्रेवल सी सी इज वन टू थ्री and they both should be applied this is important now let us take question number 34 if the proportion of soil passing through 75 micron sieve is 50 liquid limit and plastic limit are 40 and 20 respectively then the group index of the soil is it is a question in which you should remember the formula of group index please i advise you that there is a high possibility any time that you will get a question of group index so this is a lengthy formula now what is f here f is the percentage fi my percentage finer than 75 micron so f is equal to 50 this is liquid limit so liquid limit is given to me as 40 and plasticity index ip plasticity index ip is given as 20 so put these values plus keep in mind one very important thing which most of the student miss is that these bracket have maximum and minimum value bracket have minimum value of 0 and maximum value of 40 this bracket has minimum value 0 and maximum value 20 this bracket has minimum value 0 and maximum value 40 and this bracket has minimum value 0 and maximum value 20 so please keep in mind So what is my group index now? Fifty minus thirty-five plus point zero two plus liquid limit is forty. So this becomes zero plus ten into ten raised to power minus three into f minus thirty. So it becomes thirty-five into IP is ten. So everything is in the limit. So I need not to bother about that. So if you solve, you will get six point five. Now next question. Based on grain distribution analysis, D10, D30, and D60 are given. So this is my D10, this is my D30, and this is my D60. So what we will do? We will find Cu. What is Cu? D60 by D10. So what you will get? 0.41 divided by 0.23, and we will get Cc, which is D square 30 over D60 D10. D square thirty means point three whole square divided by D sixty so point four one and D ten is point two three. So if you simplify both, what you will get? You will get Cu as one point seven eight and Cc as point nine five. Now you have to uh, consider about the second part because first in all the option you see there is s so you have to consider only the second part we know cu should be greater than 6 and cc should lie between 1 to 3 to soil to be well graded and if any one of these condition is not satisfied then the soil becomes poorly graded so what is my answer since cu is uh, less than 6 so it becomes sp so what is my answer it is b it is a standard question many a times these type of question has been asked so make lot of practice of these questions given that the coefficient of curvature so cc is given as 1.4 and d30 and d10 is given to you 
based on the information you have to classify the soil so cc is given cu you need to find which is d60 by d10 now there is a little bit lengthy calculation I start from here that cc is d square 30 over d60 d10 now 30 is given as 3 so 3 square 6 uh, 10 is given as 0. 0.6 and d60 i don't know but cc is given as 1.4 so you can find the d60 so if you solve what you get d60 equal to 10.71 very high value so what is your cu now 10.71 divided by 0.6 i'm surprised to get this high value okay so 10.71 divided by 0 0.6 so it is 17.85 so cu is 17.85 now if you see uh, cc should lie between 1 to 3 and cu should be greater than 6 for the soil to be sand all the option contain sand so what will be our answer it should be well graded because both the condition are satisfied which is cu greater than 6 and cc should lie between 1 and 3 so b is the right answer now next question in a soil specimen 70 percent of the particle are passing through the 4.75 micron so 75 percent particle are passing from the 4.7 micron so it means what if 70 percent particle are passing so it make the soil sand if it is less than 50 then it is gravel so okay it is a sand and 40 percent of the particle are passing through 75 micron if uniformity coefficient so cu is given as 8 and cc is given as 1 to 3 so it is sand which is uh, well graded so what is my answer c sw so it, it is a good question so if you see we this information is extra and we don't need this inform this information here it is just to confirm that the soil is coarse grain now question number 38 a dispersed structure is formed in clay when a net electric force between adjacent soil particle at the time of deposition are repulsive so what is dispersed structure it is like this it is a array of face to face force is not negative then it will become a flocculate structure so this is the right answer option remolding and compacting of clay have high void ratio there is no linkage of this part i don't know what what it means to say it is nothing related remolding and compacting of clay have high void ratio no nothing it is not related there is concentration of dissolved mineral in water yeah it is cation exchange theory so the so this is also light right and pellets have face to face contact in more or less parallel array this thing so this is also right so 1 3 and 4 are right i will say that this is a level 3 question uh, lot of practice and uh, lot of uh, thorough knowledge of the topic for dispersed structure so i will advise that this is level 3 question you can skip these type of question in the exam while while uh, practicing you should concentrate on this there might be in engineering services a lot of questions are repeated so if next time such a question is uh, repeat you can easily able to solve it then it becomes level 2 for you the laboratory test on a sample yields the following result plasticity index 32 percent liquidity index 0 0.15 activity number is 1.58 which of the following inference can be drawn the soil is very stiff the soil is medium the soil is highly plastic so whenever you have to find the condition of the soil always concentrate on this value I will give you one table to understand this. So if liquidity index and condition, if liquidity index lie between 1 to 0.75, the soil is soft. If liquidity index lie between 0.75 to 0.5, the soil is firm. If liquidity index lie between 0.5 to 0.25, then soil is stiff. And if liquidity index lie between 0.25, to 0 
then soil is very stiff and if liquidity index is less than zero then soil is hard this table you have to remember that's why i put this question in level 2 so if you remember this table then liquidity index is 0.15 and it fall in this category which is very stiff so what is my answer the soil is very stiff so uh, question number 40 i will skip because uh, it is uh, misplaced here it is actually question of compaction so i will discuss question number 40 while i i will be taking up the compaction chapter now let's come to the question number 41 uh, we have to match the following so pycnometer pycnometer is used for specific gravity and water content here it is only given about a specific gravity so third is the answer hydrometer hydrometer is used for particle size distribution below 75 micron so this is a fourth option odometer odometer is used for the consolidation test so this is compressibility and permeometer it is for permeability so it is a little bit simple question what is my option now a3 so it this and this may be right then b4 so in first two only you can get the answer d now see the question number 42 for a well graded sand the coefficient of curvature should lie between 1 and 3 okay this is right a soil having uniformity coefficient is smaller than 2 is considered uniform yes if it uh, so cu is less than 2 okay so what is our condition friends for well graded soil what i require cu should be greater than 6 and cc should lie between 1 and 3 so it this becomes a very peculiar question of engineering services as i told you in my previous videos also ko samajhiye. so if you see what he mean to say from this what you have to interpret it, that both are right so it is both one and two it is very peculiar nature of engineering services you have to understand the examiner point of view which i say bhavnao ko samajhiye so dono so both are right for a well graded sand this is also right and for uniformity coefficient both the statement are half correct not fully correct but no other information is given so i will take both right neither than both one nor one so it comes by experience if you find these type of questions uh, uh, confusing i will say that skip these question do not attempt them thank you friends for uh, watching this video i hope you learned a lot of things if you like this video gives a thumbs up and please write a comment for my any suggestion which you want to give me also you can whatsapp me for any query or any doubt which you are facing while watching the video Thank you. Enjoy civil engineering.